We invite you to watch the English Chinese news of the Central Television Channel of the Nai Province. Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính and his wife, along with high-ranking Vietnamese delegation, arrived in Hanoi, successfully ended their European business trip to attend the 54th annual meeting of the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, and visits Hungary and Romania from January 16 to 23, 2024. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính's entire business trip have more than 60 activities. In just two working days in Davos, Switzerland, the Prime Minister had a packed schedule with more than 30 activities. During the business trip, many corporation agreements were signed in many fields, especially in the field of education and training cooperation. There were nearly 30 cooperation documents between Vietnamese universities and training institutions of Hungary and Romania. Of the occasion of common Lunar New Year's visit, Prime Minister Fabian Kinh and his wife had a meeting bringing warm feelings from their homeland to our expatriates in Hungary and Romania. The official visit to Hungary and Romania by Prime Minister Fabian Kinh is an important milestone in the Vietnam-Hungary Comprehensive Partnership and Vietnam-Romania Traditional Friendship Partnership. Of the occasion of Lunar New Year of the Dragon 2024 and the 94th anniversary of the attachment of the Communist Party of Vietnam, yesterday, the delegation of the Provincial Party Committee, People's Council, People's Committee, Vietnam Finland Front Committee, led by Comrade Võ Thanh Đức, the chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, visited with the to former provincial leaders and families of people with meritorious services to the revolution in Bình Hoa City. Accordingly, the delegation visited and presented third gifts to two heroes of armed forces, Phạm Văn Cán and Nguyễn Thị Bằng, and former comrades who led the province through the periods include Comrade Huỳnh Văn Bình, Comrade Võ Văn Mộ, is a former Deputy Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee, former Chairman of the Provincial Post Committee, Comrade Đặng Thị Kim Nguyên, former member of Standing Committee of Provincial People's Committee, former Vice Chairman of Provincial People's Committee, at a visit to the places. Adjunct Chairman of Provincial People's Committee, Võ Thân Đức, sang greetings of health and Happy New Year to individuals and families of former provincial leaders and heroes of the armed forces. At the same time, he hopes that the car play will continue to be a good example for children and grandchildren to follow invigorating motivation and experience for provincial leadership team. Yesterday, the military command of the province coordinated with provincial police held by a conference to summarize the Pompeii Invitation of the Government Decree No. 3 on coordination between Ministry of Public Security and Ministry of National Defense in the elimination of the task of protecting national security, ensuring social order and safety, crime prevention and fighting, and national defense task, implementing Task 2024. Accordingly, the coordination between military and police forces in the limitation of Decree No. 3 had many outstanding results in many aspects, fulfilling the said task, making an important contribution to effectively serving the task of the social economic development of the locality. The focus is on ensuring security and order, attacking and suppressing crime, and performing military and defense tasks in the province, and etc. Colonel Tai Huang Sung, Deputy Chief of Staff for the Military Command of the Nai Province said, Coordinate well with the organization of Decree No. 3 of the government. Attach responsibility in coordinating with the effective elimination of tasks between the two units in all aspects of work. At a conference, delegates listened to the report on the result of the coordination work to implement the government's Decree No. 3 in 2023, the plan to implement the decree in 2024, proposing practical guidelines and measures to improve the quality and efficiency of coordination work. 
Colonel Nguyễn Thành Trung, Deputy Head of Dona Province Public Security Staff Department said, measures to formally rush the situation to ensure political security, periodically advise and report to the Provincial Party Committee and Provincial People's Committee the situation of security and social order and safety in the province. Forecasting the situation in the coming time, Vice Chairman of the Nga Provincial People's Committee Nguyễn Xuân Hùng asked the military police forces to continue to coordinate effectively in implementing the tasks of ensuring security and order and performing national defense tasks, thereby create a secure, safe, healthy and disciplined environment, promote the social economic development of the province, and short term, focus on coordinating to ensure security and order and ensure safety and order during this. The United Department of Education and Training said that as of school year 2023-2024, the whole province has three units achieving digital transformation level three according to the set of criteria for digital transformation assessment issued by the Ministry of Education and Training for the beginning of 2023. These are Lewidome High School in Longmintang Ward. Lewidom High School in Tung Mai Ward and Lewidom Secondary School in Wik Thang Ward. These educational institutions have well met basic requirements and some advanced requirements for digital transformation. Also, according to statistics of the Provincial Department of Education and Training, in 2023, the whole province had 552 out of 559 educational institutions complete the self-assessment of the level of digital transformation, reaching a grade of nearly 99%. In particular, in terms of digital transformation in teaching and learning, the proportion of school meeting the basic level of digital transformation account for the most, with nearly 340 schools reaching the rate of over 60%. In 2024, the United States decided to collect the state purchase revenue of over $56 trillion. In particular, state purchase revenue from the field of import and export reaches $17.8 trillion. According to the forecast for 2024, the economic situation will continue to be difficult. So at the end of 2023, the Provincial People's Committee had issued a directive on state purchase revenues and expenditures in 2024. Accordingly, aside from the Custom Department to drastically implement the task of collecting state purchase from the import and export sector in 2024, strengthened inspection and post custom clearance inspection, focusing on key businesses, sector, and high-risk items. In addition, the custom sector is required to strictly manage custom duty calculation prices, especially items with large value and high task rates striving to meet and exceed the outside estimates in 2024.